see that you're doing some things that are that are actually dragging back your effort you know you're putting so much effort you're doing a lot you're you're trying you're laboring you're not even sleeping and you just still notice that things are not going on smoothly the results are not coming out it's not it's just looking like you're lazy it's just looking like you're not doing anything in this video i'm sharing so, with you things that you really need to stop doing if you feel like you're underachieving in life if you feel you should have achieved more than what you have on ground you should have achieved more you feel uh, what's going on <music> Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's so good to be here again and I'm sure that you guys are fine. I'm sure you're fine wherever you're watching me from. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I assure you, you're definitely going to find this video really, really inspiring. So join my YouTube channel community by clicking on the subscribe button. Yes, this is the subscribe button. Click on it and do well to turn on the notification icon. Yes, this bell icon right here is a notification icon. Make sure you click on it just so that whenever I upload my videos, you'll be seeing them as soon as possible. So let's go straight into the video. In this video, I want to share with you a couple of things that you really need to stop doing if you feel like you are underachieving in life. You feel you should have achieved more, but you just notice that you've, you're achieving less. You're working more, but the achievement is lesser than your work, it's lesser than your hard work. The first thing that you need to stop doing is negative self-talk. Yes, stop saying negative things to yourself. In fact, stop having negative thoughts towards yourself. Stop having negative thoughts towards things that you're doing. Be positive about life. Be positive about what you do. Stop saying negative things. Negative talks against yourself is one of the things that stops you from achieving. Because you know, the tongue, your tongue has power. Like, tongue is very powerful and it's crucial. So whatever you say with your tongue to yourself goes a long way in affecting you, in affecting your destiny, in affecting your achievement. So if you really want to achieve in life, you feel like you are underachieving and you want to achieve, you have to watch what you say about yourself and about the things that you do. Number two, you have to shun the fear of failure. Yes, shun the fear of failure. Be careful, you know, it's not easy to fail. Failure is bad. Failure is not good. But do you know that sometimes if you don't try to do something and fail at doing it, you won't be able to learn to do better and to be successful. So stop being afraid of failure. Try new things. If you have a business idea, you there are some people you have ideas but bringing your ideas to reality is your problem because you are always afraid. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of failure. Yes, people, a lot of people, great people, mighty people now, they have failed. So people, they failed several times and you see them today, they are fine because they are not afraid to fail. They, are, they fail and they do it again and they fail and they do it again and they succeed. So if you fail today, definitely you're going to succeed tomorrow. So stop being afraid of failure if you want to achieve anything in life. And then you really have to set goals. Yes, one of the things that makes people to achieve, to achieve less, one of the causes of other achievement is lack of goal setting. You have to set goals for yourself. And this is where checklist gets, gets to work. Checklist. You have to have a checklist. Have a list of things that you want to achieve. Set a goal for yourself and you that's what you follow step by step. And then that's how you know if you're achieving or not. So you just you don't just sit down and start comparing yourself to people that are not sleeping. People that have goals and they are pursuing it. So you should set realistic and achievable goals for yourself. And you have to really work on this goal, not just setting goals. It's not about you having a bucket list or you having a, a checklist pasted in your wall or whatever and not doing anything about it. You really have to set goals that you know you would achieve. Your goal should be, should be something out of passion. There should be things that you're passionate about and that you really know that you're going to work through and you're going to do. So you have to have goals if you want to achieve more in life. Stop constant comparison. Start, try to stop comparing yourself with people. Yes, yeah, stop comparing yourself with 
your folks, your age mates, your, your former classmates, your church members. Just stop comparing yourself to, to people, always people. Comparison, constant comparison is, is not good. It is not good because it will just keep weighing you down. You just feel, oh, you, you, you may just give up on yourself. You could just get depressed. That's one. And another thing, it could get you lazy. Because if you're comparing yourself to people behind you, people that are not even doing anything, you just feel, some people are even still behind me that they are not, they've not even achieved anything. So I'm still trying. Or if you're comparing yourself to people above you, sometimes it could get you depressed and you feel like you're just fed up of life and just live your life. It is just good that, it's good that you look back while you look forward and then you look at yourself and you pick lessons and then you, 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 you make your goals, you set your goals and then you achieve them. But by the time you compare, looking, looking, just looking at people, learning from them, getting motivated by their actions and doing your thing is very fine. But by the time you start comparing and contrasting and all, this is what is bad. It could get you depressed and it could get you lazy. If you feel like you are underachieving in life, you really need to stop impulsive decision making. Don't make decisions impulsively. Don't just make decisions without thinking deep. That's why I said earlier that you should have goals. You should set goals, achievable goals, goals that are realistic and achievable. You should set them. The moment you just make decisions, ah, you notice that bags are now selling. People are shipping bags from China. And then you say, oh, I want to be shipping bags from China. And that's it. Oh, my friend is going for a degree. I'm going as well. Oh, my, my friends are going for an extra degree. I'm going also. Oh, my friends are getting married. Oh, I must get married too. Like, you don't just make impulsive decisions or you just think of something. It just dropped in your head and you didn't even think about it and it just kick off and you started doing it and that's it. This is bad. Impulsive decision making, when you don't think about something, when you didn't plan, when you just do things without having goals, without having plans, this causes underachievement. It causes underachievement. So you don't just make decisions impulsively. Make sure you set goals and you work by your goals. If you have goals and you're working by them, of course, you will not make any decision impulsively. If you are so disciplined with your goals that you have set and you've decided, okay, I'm following these goals, there is no way you are going to make any decision impulsively. And this, <laughs> this point, guys, if you feel like you're underachieving, you really need to move out of negativity. Surrounding yourself with negativity is something that could keep you in that level of being an underachiever. Being an underachiever, someone that has not achieved enough or at all. If you surround yourself with negativity, like negative people, negative thoughts, negative movies, negative books, negative things. You know, there are some people there is nothing, like absolutely nothing that you would do in life that would impress them. Like you don't just live your life to impress people, but you know, you're not living your life to impress them actually, but in their corner, they will not stay there. You are doing things and they will come and, and they will just rubbish it. They will just say, uh, mm, uh, mm. they will just have one comment or the other, one negative comment or the other to say about you, about your life, about your purpose, about things that you're doing. You really need to excuse yourself from this case, this set of people. This set of people are destiny destroyers. They use their mouth to pull down destiny and you really need to walk out of this set of people. Make sure that you leave negative people. People that have negative, only negative comments to pass across about you, about the things that you do. Don't surround yourself with them. Don't watch movies that gives you negative thought. There are some movies they just, you know, the impression they give you about life, about marriage, about career, about every, about the world is that the world is in darkness. The world is bad. There's no good people. There's no good man. There's no good woman. And then you believe that that's it. No, that's not it. They are good people. They are good men. Marriages are working. Yes, people are divorcing, but fine. Marriages are working and they are working fine and they are working well. So if you want to leave the channel, the corner, the group of underachievers and you want to be an achiever, indeed, you really have to make sure that you eschew negative people. Make sure that you avoid distraction. If you want to achieve anything in life, you really have to have goals. 
you have to have a goal you have to set goals as i said earlier so you must ask you must try to you know excuse yourself or flee from everything that is going to distract you from achieving the goals that you set for yourself there are things that would you know you would know like you would know your mind your the spirit of god that dwells in you is going to tell you even your mind in this your flesh will tell you you want to know you will know that this thing is actually a distraction it just takes the help of god the spirit of god to you know for you to be able to move out of your flesh and say no to distraction so you really have to avoid everything that you know is a distraction cell phone social media is a major distraction in this generation you really have to be careful as much as you can earn money get productive get better become a better version of yourself do great things with your cell phone with social media the same way it can distract you from your purpose and it can drag you out of your line of destiny fulfillment so you really have to be careful not only cell phone some people it is marriage yes they actually have goals that they've set but they have goals they have the, in fact they are very ambitious they were very ambitious the moment they get married hmm, they get women they get pregnant and then they will just ch shift all the attention to the baby to the to the you know to the home and then they forget themselves and you know what the purpose that god has given to you to achieve on this earth you must achieve it because he knows that part of those purpose is getting married having a husband or a wife and giving birth so if you now say because you are fulfilling one purpose you are going to abandon or neglect or forget other purposes then you will have questions to answer in heaven so marriage husband children whatever it is must not stop you from fulfilling your purpose so nothing at all should stand as a form of distraction whatsoever for you nothing nothing at all in fact <laughs> nothing at all as in nothing absolutely nothing at all must stand in the gap between you and your purpose fulfillment so make sure that you you have to achieve your purpose you have to achieve your goals and you have to avoid any form of thing that could stand as distraction for you some people is love of money 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 and money yes money money is good we all love money i love money i want money i want so much more money fine but the pursuit of money should not be a distraction and it shouldn't drag you out of achieving your purpose and god-given destiny this you may be thinking how does this in any way as in how does this affect my achievements it does and this is unhealthy habits like eating habits self-care habits you know diets you know yes self-care let me just say self-care this is really really important if you feel like you are underachieving in life my dear you really need to watch out you really need to look out for your self-care habits yes how often do you rest you know some people towards the 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 edge towards the end in fact towards the the, the time that they are supposed to you know achieve and blossom and glow and and be celebrated and then they will die why because they have stressed themselves like too much the stress was so so much when they were you know fine i i said you should be hard working be diligent be tenacious be be hard working be passionate yes i said all that but i i didn't say you should not rest please you really have to rest rest is good for you for your body and then rest should not be too much like by the time you sleep for adults sleeping for 16 hours in fact 12 hours in a day like we have 24 hours in a day and you are sleeping for 12 hours already because how many hours do you have left in the day during the day to work 10 hours is too much in fact eight. like sleeping too much is a bad habit that can cause you to achieve less that can put you in the corner or in the group of underachievers if you want to achieve you sleep late go and see achievers they don't sleep oh they hardly sleep while you are busy sleeping and storing 
and water is coming out from your mouth. They are there praying, like praying, like reading, working, working on a seminar, working on the paper, working on this, working on that. And you are there sleeping and you are complaining that you are underachieving. You're comparing yourself to them. Hey, you think they, are, they, are, they sleep like you do? No. So, and then eating. If you eat too much, you will sleep too much. Don't eat too much. Once you are okay, you are okay. Don't say because the food is sweet and then you continue to eat and eat and eat until you don't you feel uncomfortable and no, don't just eat the food just because you see that the food is many or because you see that the food is sweet. You just continue to eat it. No. Just make sure that you live a cautious life. You live a very organized life. Eat the the, the eat little. In fact, as as an adult, you don't really need to eat until you are full. Just eat and be satisfied. And then maybe after some house, you eat something little again. Don't just eat a bulk of food. If you eat food in bulk, you are not going to be productive. Like there's no way you'll be productive. You'll just be feeling dizzy. Your brain will be heavy. And <laughs> so please, you really need to watch your habits. Watch your habits. If you eat late night food, you can't wake up and pray. You can't even wake up and work. You will just sleep like that. You will eat like that. You sleep like that and wake up like that. In fact, it is people like that that they will come to meet them in the night and they will be beating them or they will feed them and they give them more food to eat. Self. So please, you really have to watch your self-care habit. You really have to watch it. If you feel like you are underachieving and you desire to achieve you, you just have to stop comparing yourself to people. You don't know what people are doing in the back. You don't know what people are doing in the night. Ha! Behind the scene, if they show you behind the scene, you will know that <laughs> you'll be beans. Don't be a perfectionist. If you're waiting for everything to be perfect before you do it, you just want everything to be perfect. You just want everything to be perfect. No! So start from somewhere. You really have to start from somewhere. You could start and then you fail. But by the time you just wait for, for everything to be perfect, ah, that's the fear of failure that I spoke about. You don't have to fear failure. Don't be afraid of failure. Failure is meant for people to learn. So if you fall, you rise. You falling and staying there is what is wrong. If you fall and you have the confidence to rise, and then that's when you're going to succeed. And I pray for you that everything, like whatsoever it is that you lay your hands upon, you're going to achieve tremendously. Like you would achieve greatly. Your achievement shall be great. You're living being an underachiever to being a great achiever. You're really going to achieve. You're going to be successful. We all are going to be successful and we are going to be successful. Be confident in yourself. You really have to be confident in yourself. Be confident. Don't wait for people's approval. If you're waiting for people to approve you and say that you're doing well, you're doing good, you're just going to be there because people will not, they will not appraise you. They will not even appreciate you. They won't approve you. They will just, people. <laughs> so it is only you that can, that can appreciate yourself, that can believe in yourself. If you're waiting for people to believe in you and to give you a pass mark before you go ahead and start working towards achieving achieving my friend now there you go deal so don't wait for people to approve anything to approve your life to approve your goals to approve anything just you know you know that okay this is what i'm gonna do make sure that you do all your assignments make sure you work on it research and then you kick off start doing it and pray this is the most important thing prayer prayer and that's what that's the last thing i'm going to be saying today Pray, 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 pray until your joy is full. That is what our father said. Daddy in heaven, <laughs> heavenly father, pray until your joy is full. Pray without ceasing. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. Like if you don't ask, you never give. It. Eh? Then you knock. Ko, 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 ko. That one will be, it will be louder. Knock the gate of heaven. The door no going open. Then you have to start seeking. You seek up and down. Go to the backyard, the side of the house. And then you, the father is definitely going to answer. What I'm trying to say is, you don't relent in prayer. You don't get tired of praying. If you do this, 
pray in another way try thanksgiving try asking try rolling on the floor just make sure that you pray and you pray and you pray until your joy is full thank you for watching my video today and i'm sure that you have learned one or two things and by now if you know that you feel like you're underachieving your mates have moved moved faster and you feel you're lagging behind or you feel you're lagging behind or you're behind and then you feel you're feeling bad already, depressed already. This is a message from me to you. Do not be depressed. God is on your side. Just keep being optimistic. Flee from negativity. Keep praying and believing in God. And definitely, He's going to have a way. He's going to make a way. He's going to have His way. And your life is going to become beautiful. And you're going to achieve so much more. Thank you for watching to the end once again. I remain your girl, Victoria. If you've not subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe. Like this video, share with your friends. And make sure that you turn on the notification so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be seeing them as soon as possible. I love you so much and do not forget that Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day. Bye!